So right. the reality is, is that back in the day that when we would have an advanced civilization such as Lemuria, most of everything would be taking place all in one area. We wouldn't actually be spread out because there wasn't enough for us to spread out anyway. Right. So when all of that came to a close, as most things tend to do, it actually came to a close with everybody almost in the same space. And that's why they're calling it the deluge, because it would be like us all waking up one day in our fabulous city. We got conflicts. There's stuff already telling us that there's going to be a problem. But it's just today that we find that the problem has reached ahead. And now we all got to find a new place to live because everything is covered with water. Now, if you look at the Indus Valley, and I'm going to prove this to everybody today, but if you look at the Indus Valley, this area, as they've already recorded, is always getting inundated. Even right now, some of those temples are sitting in water. Going out to the ocean, they've already found the original Lemuria. They're just not allowed to dig around it or dig it up or tell anybody about it because the Indian government is still under the British caste system. And to reveal an entirely advanced civilization underwater that was completely destroyed because of the war in chaos, not aliens, but the war in chaos that ensued from us not getting along, it would just break a lot of paradigms and it will push people into actually getting along and being together because we would see the example continuously of when we separate or when we allow something to separate us because this Indus Valley culture in Lemuria, it unites all of us. It's not just black people there. It's not just white people there. It's not just Koreans or whatever other differentiation you can come up with. Because all of that is pure nonsense. It is no different than in geometry, the difference between a simple ratio, as I said, the ratio and the ratio or the differences. Mm. And on top, if people really want to get this, you know, from like the kid book story level, just think of the grizzly bear and the polar bear. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that is different between these two, except for where they live, that determines their color. And it is because mm -hmm. when you are in hot places, like the grizzly finds itself in quite a few times, it needs a modulator. That's what the melanin and things do. They modulate. So if it's too hot, you can start feeling cooler. If it's too mm -hmm. cool, you can start feeling hotter. But when you're in a climate where it's always cold, there is no need for any modulator. So it only takes 300 years tops for somebody that looks like a dark skinned Naga to turn into one of the vampires off of interview with the vampire <laughs> all paled and in the corner. And that's just how it works, whether people want to accept it or not. So what right. happened though, in the Indus Valley after the deluge is you had people that survived and they can't stay there. So they went to the different areas respectively. And so thus stories like Dagon, the man who came from the sea, who was really Murugan, who taught some of these uncivilized tribes all this knowledge and became their teacher, the fisher of men who he later on became. And then he became higher my beef because they just killed him and took all the knowledge. Now, that was just like a big jump from what people need to understand. But think about it. You have an entire culture and an original language already on the earth. And some of the top spiritual teachers, even today, holding back the knowledge of what belongs to a whole nother group of people. What am I talking about? Have you ever noticed that in the Bible, there's a story of Abraham and Sarah? Mm -hmm. But in the Hindu text, there's a story of Ab the Brahmin and his wife, Sarah Swati. Have you mm -hmm. ever noticed how Christ's name is awfully close, close to Krishna? Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed why things like the swastika and the star David seem to always be found in, in like what we call now India and prove that they don't have origins in any of the places that supposedly use those symbols as if they're their own. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that when there are wars, the victors of those wars, they take everything, they plunder everything. Like think about when you have places like candy, candy is called that way because back in the day when you put your hands in the river and pulled up the rocks, it was all sapphires, rubies, and jewels. And then that, mm. when you pulled it up, looked like you were holding a hand of candy. One of the most powerful dynasties in, in uh, this area was actually called Cola. It actually became the reason why we got Coca-Cola and candy. Mm. So on top of that, you got a six pointed star who's supposed to be accredited to a Jewish man named David, who was a king that really belongs to a Tamil man named Murugan, 
who is a king known as the six face God and the six face pointed or six pointed star meant that just the six faces of the God Mudugan and that being like a Shiva and a, or a lingam and a Yoni. And mm. this Mudugan's other name is Davud, but he is nowhere near related to anybody in the Khazarian mountains. So what you actually had was, is you had the caste system being introduced, which was based on the colors of our ascension. We start mm. at black. Okay. Ignorant, wild, young cheetah. Okay. And then we move into the blue, just like if you're working from the ocean, you come from the bottom of the ocean, you're in the black. And then that color you're going to see next is blue. Then you're going to see some green. And that system, which later on became known as the caste system, was actually first the progression of our chakras and mm. our growth in society until somebody came in and made it a racial thing and actually made it to where the white which signifies being clear and uh, actually not being clear. Clear is the last stage. White, which signifies the Saraswati or the purity became like a skin color thing. And then those who were white immediately put themselves to the top of the caste system and became the Brahmin. Mm -hmm. Right now, these same Brahmins with the long beard. Now, remember the Brahmins, which existed way before all this foolishness, always had this kind of motif. They stayed in caves because they were Siddhas. They became known later on as the gods because they were the ones really focusing on honing in the spiritual powers while everybody else was basically doing their thing. Same thing happening now, except the knowledge was more proficient. So if you wanted to become a Siddha, a.k.a. a god, you would basically park somewhere in a cave, which became known as a Shrivaram, which we got our name Aslam from, a free place where you can receive help. And these mm. men and women began to study everything about metaphysics, their body. Now, here's the thing. We can always throw some really wild components in here, like getting infinitely big, getting infinitely small, having the strength of a thousand lions, etc. because there's mushrooms around. There's DMT <laughs> hanging around. There's all sorts of stuff in this planet that's hanging around that doesn't require us to make shit up. It just right. is there. And when you take it, it opens up a whole nother thing. So we're still on that quest, right? We'd like to go on it as much as we can, but these people had all day to do it. So achieving right. things like making yourself infinitely small and inseminating yourself into a dolphin's womb, all that kind of stuff was like mm -hmm. fair play more time to practice. for a seat up. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like this, honestly, once you get into it is really what you kind of prefer to do when right. let's say what's going on in average village life every day. So anyway, these Siddhas became known as the ones who like, if you were experiencing any problem, you just go over there and you ask them how to fix it. And they will tell you, and many people just donate it to them. Like, Hey, here's some stuff. And that's how really this act of God started because